<laughs> I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too?! It's your fault that Nautical Johns... I... I didn't... I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my, my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! Kanji... <sighs> do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... Wha what's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Yeah. We'll end this here and now. Wait a second! Do you really understand what you're about to do? It's the exact same thing Namatame's been doing! I hate the guy too, but... You really want to go that far? 
Is getting revenge the right thing to do? But if we don't do anything, he might... I... I don't know anymore. Are you sure about this? You really mean it? There's no other way? What about you guys? Remember, there's no need to stay if you don't want to. I'll stay. Me too. I won't be the only one to walk out on this. I'd only suffer more that way. If this is what we've decided, I'll stick with it to the end. Me too. No matter how we end it, I want to witness it. Nanako-chan. We avenged you, Nanako-chan. But I guess you wouldn't be too happy about that. You're such a kind girl. Hey, where's Teddy? Did he go home? I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. A story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Police have released the identity of the suspect, who was confirmed dead after escaping the hospital, as Taro Namatame. Ruling his death a suicide, the police have closed their investigation. However, police have yet to announce the cause of death for either the victims or the suspect himself. Several criminologists have raised questions over how his alleged crimes were committed. It seems that though this case has come to an official end, many of its mysteries will remain forever unsolved. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. Are you ready to go? Starting tomorrow, I'll be all by myself in this house. It's gonna be lonely. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. Hey, if... If there was evil in the world that had to be dealt with, but no one would step up to see justice done, it might fall to the closest person at hand to bear the burden of punishing them, don't you think? Maybe so, huh? Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Hey, thanks. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? What? Are you saying you forgive this bastard? I 
thought you'd feel the same way we do, Senpai. You're gonna let this go? Did you see what happened to Nanako-chan? Look, just think about this. Are you sure about that? Thank goodness. I knew you'd say so. How the hell can you be so half-assed about this? Are you okay with what this bastard did? Of course we're not! But can you look me in the eye and say you're okay with doing the same thing this guy did? It's just like how you feel right now. That you can't turn your back and do nothing. We're not gonna sit back and watch while our friend becomes a murderer, you moron! To kill someone because they killed someone first. I can't decide on something that serious. But... but still... If you have it in you to be this angry for someone who is close to you, then you mustn't kill! That's something you can never take back! So we leave it to the cops? You trust them to handle it? Even if we can't trust them, from here on is no longer our battle. It's Dojima-san and his fellow officers fight to convict the suspect. Is that what you're trying to say? I'm proud that I can protect this town with you all. That's why I don't want to make this terrible situation even worse by doing something like this. I want to keep going to school with you all and make more memories with my friends. I don't want one of those memories to be of us killing someone. So what if there's another crime? We can still save people like we always have. Nothing has happened yet. Then why assume that our future will be filled with misfortune? Nothing's happened yet. Our future hasn't been decided. <sighs> Let's go back to Nanako-chan's room. Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's... alive? Uh, are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god... I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye.
Now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Defendant Taro Namatami has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. Namatame also maintains his strange insistence that he, quote, placed them inside the TV to save them. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog, as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. There's nothing more I can do for this case. I might end up testifying in court, but otherwise I'll just be observing to see how things play out. I don't imagine he'll get that harsh of a sentence given the evidence, or lack thereof. Well, so it goes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? It's only been a year since you got here. But a lot's happened since then. What do you think about your time here? Are you satisfied with the things you did? The choices you made? I see. We can leave it at that. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Hey. Thanks. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. What's the matter?
It looks like our only option is to stay patient and continue our investigation. But regardless, the fact remains that Namatame has committed his crimes, and he has already been arrested. So, no matter what we do, the case might be over now? Though the truth will be forever lost in darkness. Well, for us, it's more like... It's lost in the fog. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Now, a follow-up report on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook Inaba last year. Defendant Taro Namatame has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. <laughs> There's no doubt he's the one who put Nanako through all this. But the more I interrogate him, the more I start to question myself. Did Namatame really murder two people? Well, we'll see what comes out in our investigation. In any case, there haven't been any more bizarre incidents lately. Here's hoping Inaba goes back to its usual quiet self and stays that way. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. What's the matter?
It looks like our only option is to stay patient and continue our investigation. But regardless, the fact remains that Namatame has committed his crimes, and he has already been arrested. So, no matter what we do, the case might be over now? Though the truth will be forever lost in darkness. Well, for us, it's more like... It's lost in the fog. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Sorry, were you waiting long? Man, things have been so busy. I've been putting in a crazy amount of overtime. Well, anyway, what's with the sudden visit? Can I help you with something? Do what? Me? Kill Mayumi Yamano in Saki Konishi? <laughs> what's this about? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Even if you're kidding, this is a pretty bad joke. Did you forget? You're the ones who brought Namatame in. Oh, I get it. You're still playing detective. Okay. Say I am the culprit. What did you come here to do? Convince me to turn myself in? So, what? Are you trying to blackmail me? Well, listen up. Unlike you, we police aren't made of time. We still haven't even cleaned up Namatame's mess. Besides, you don't have any proof that I did it. Well? Are you gonna keep playing detective? You're on my side? Are you trying to be the hero or something? No, wait. You're saying you're on the killer's side in front of a police officer. Do you understand what that means? I see. Wait here a sec. Do you remember this? It's the threatening letter that got sent to your house. I accidentally forgot to forward it over to forensics. I'm sure it was just a prank, but maybe it was connected to the murders. Who knows? This might be the piece of evidence that could turn this whole case upside down. The real killer wouldn't want the police to have this. But you're with me, right? So if I'm the real killer, and you're with me, then that makes you my partner in crime. Isn't that right? If I send this to forensics, they might pull some evidence off it. Maybe a clue to capturing the real killer. You, your friends, and Dojima-san have all been busting your asses for a whole year to solve this case. It's a damn shame that no one's caught the real killer yet. 
Well, You actually did it. Do you understand what you just did? You destroyed evidence. That's a crime, you know? <laughs> now, this little incident is covered up forever. All because of you. on those who've committed crimes. If you get calls from this number, you better pick up. There's no use changing your number. Don't underestimate the Japanese police. It's easy to track you down. You want to find the truth without being swayed by the voices of society. But the truth is a sinister thing. It seems like something absolute, yet it exists in everyone's hearts. For you, <laughs> this was the truth. <laughs> well, I'm going back, so be careful on your way home. The fog is getting thicker and thicker after all. Goodbye, partner. Now, a follow-up report on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook Inaba last year. Defendant Taro Namatame has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. <laughs> There's no doubt he's the one who put Nanako through all this. But the more I interrogate him, the more I start to question myself. Did Namatame really murder two people? 
I see. Well, here's hoping it all comes out in our investigation. In any case, there haven't been any more bizarre incidents lately. Here's hoping Inaba goes back to its usual quiet self and stays that way. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. You really are leaving us. You know, it was overdue quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <sighs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. <laughs>